I did want to give uh, Meredith McDonough an opportunity to talk about this. Um, Alabama Department of Archives and History recently went through this process. Uh, so uh, Meredith, if you would like to sort of give a little flavor for uh, how that went for you. Sure. Uh, we've been using Content DM since 2007, and it's proven to be a great asset to us because it allows us to share our holdings in ways we couldn't have imagined 10 years ago. So we're really committed to the system. Uh, we had always supported a local installation of Content DM here, but we learned in early August of last year that OCLC would be discontinuing that option to focus on the hosted environment. And we were a bit nervous about that at first because we always are when faced with change but we quickly realized how beneficial this would be. We're a relatively small department with only two IT staff members who have become increasingly overwhelmed by all the upkeep required for the various software and systems we're using here, to so turning the burden of Content DM's maintenance and upkeep over to the people who understand it best was a relief for us. And really, this is the direction we're going with other services we use, like our catalog and our digital preservation system, and soon our websites. As my director put it, he wants our intellectual capacity to be expended on tasks that are unique to us. So now the staff here can focus even more on the content of our collections, which is really the point of all this. Uh, the migration itself went better than I could have hoped. I worked with OCLC to get quotes in August and September, and then I had to talk with my administrators about the change in the budget. And that, of course, took some time. But we had made the switch a couple of days before Thanksgiving, and Eric as you mentioned, uh, got in touch with us the following Monday, and he was so great. I can't say enough wonderful things about him because he really pushed it forward and made it so easy for us. He had some initial questions for us. We had some questions for him, and then we got started on things. We froze all changes in mid-December, shipped our files out about a week later, and within two weeks, everything was transferred, fixed and ready for review. And Eric gave me a list of the specific problems they encountered that they couldn't fix, and we corrected those pretty easily. And actually, I was surprised by how few issues there were since we had over 200,000 items, and I know that we had not been completely consistent uh, over the 10-year period we've been uh, creating content. So it took us a few weeks for, to finish up on our end, and by late January, we were ready for the cutover. The whole process took about two months, and that was in the middle of the busiest holiday season of the year, and most of the delays were on our end because staff was out or because we had to wait for the state IT department to make changes. Um, so we did have to stop editing the collections for about two months. Our users never knew what was happening. Their access wasn't affected at all, and the website looked the same after the cutover as it had before. And I've been really pleased ever since. We don't have many problems, but when I do, I can go straight to OCLC report, uh, support and they fix the issue. And our software stays up to date, which is really exciting because before the migration, we were about three years behind on updates because we had lost the staff member who knew how to do that. So now we just have to worry about adding content to those digital collections, which really play a critical role in the outreach that's part of our core mission here. So that's all from, from my experience. 